So last night, I finally, finally got our water pipes connected from our house over here to the farm. So now we can actually connect our irrigation system. And that's what we're gonna do today. Connecting those pipes took me a while because uh, we share a driveway with our neighbors and I had to figure out a time when people wouldn't be coming and going and uh, yeah that I wouldn't clog up traffic while I'm hand digging my little trench for our pipes but last night I started around 8 o'clock and finished around 1045 p.m. so it took me about two and a half hours and got that done a little sore this morning but it's gonna be worth it because I've been spending wasting so much time watering hand watering these plants over here and this is coming at a great time because we had some cool days we had lots of rain but I look at the forecast and I see lots of 90 degree days coming up and we need to set up our sprinkler system here so what I'm gonna be doing is based on a YouTube video by Josh Satin who I follow and I recommend if you're into farming and regenerative you know agriculture practices like I am he is a great uh, resource and you should check out his channel so just want to give him credit because he basically gave me the idea for what I'm gonna do today and he did that kind of on his same farm which he has a small call it mini farm on his property and I'm gonna be setting up the same thing with these things called uh, wobblers that are gonna you know what I'll show you what they look like all right well, here we go this this is a wobbler think of it as uh, the bobblehead of sprinklers I guess uh, I got this the brand is Senninger I got it on a website called Drip Depot where I got all of this irrigation stuff and it's basically the same stuff like I said that Josh Shatton used and I'm using a lot of the same stuff so I can just set this up and be able to go and not have to worry about watering my plants so this is going to be connected to a three foot PVC and I'm going to set them up three rows in. I have 12 rows across. I'm going to do it on the third row on this side and on the third row in on the other side. So they will irrigate the three rows on the outside and both will irrigate the three rows on the inside and be able to spread water all around, which is really really cool so I'm gonna put them right in the middle of those third rows that's where I'm gonna set them up in the walkways and that's what we're gonna be working on now so these are the fittings that I have connecting um, all of that plastic tubing. The tubing goes over this part, slips over, and then it gets tightened with this nozzle. And this is a male end here, threaded male that I have going into those female adapters on of the PVC on, on those T connectors. So I have one on each end and then you have your sprinkler here the T fitting and then the tubing connects to this part of the lip so the majority of the connectors that I bought were these male fittings but I I did have to get two female fittings of these to connect. They were the first two connected to the Y on the other side. So this is what we, what I decided to do. We have a pressure regulator here to uh, help reduce the water pressure because I ended up uh, destroying about five hoses before I realized the pressure coming out of the faucet was just 
too much. So pressure regulator right into a water filter. And then I have a leader hose down here. So my leader hose takes us here to this Y connector and I have about a hundred foot hose here that I use on this side of our property for stuff and then I have this 20 foot leader hose here that I have connected to the water source on our farm. So here is where the leader hose connects. I Most hoses have a a female end and a male end. I ended up, I needed a female end on both ends to connect to this PVC, so I cut off the male end and got a female end attachment to connect to this attachment to the PVC. Then I got about a two foot PVC down. I've got a, bolt, um, a flush valve here. So I dug about a foot down in this trench here, all the way across the driveway and up over to the farm. And that's where our water connection is over there, where it all starts. Okay, so all of that uh, PVC comes from that hydrant and then about 70 feet or so over here. And I have, I set up a little hydrant here. Everything is, everything was three quarter inch uh, PVC. And I got this three quarter inch um, brass fitting here for the hose. I got, a, this is a cheap timer, uh, orbit timer. I have a feeling I might end up getting uh, maybe a better one because in the settings, six hours is like the closest like interval for, for a timer if you wanted to sit it you know, set a timer, and I might want to be watering the plants more than six hours apart when it's like 90 plus degrees and humid, you know? But anyway, I could set it manually for now. Um, I have another Y connector here, and here I have, I got a couple rolls of this. This is um, also three quarter inch um, plastic tubing, and I have one going this way, and one going this way for where I have my my sprinkler um, my sprinkler head set up. So to set up these um, sprinkler heads, I have well, I kind of had to make my own little connections here. I needed a. Uh, I wanted a T-fitting that had two female threads on each of the ends so I could connect these, um, these adapters at the end of the black tubing, but I couldn't find any. I'm sure it, it exists. I wanted two of the uh, female thread fittings and just a plain, you know, no threaded fitting for the top, for the top three foot tube. So I had to make my own little fitting and I cut about a four inch piece of PVC and connected it to another uh, female uh, PVC end there so I could connect the tubing to there and I did that on both sides of it and then it's a three foot PVC another um, female adapter that the sprinkler head just fits into that adapter and and that's it for for the sprinkler and I have them set up here. I have one here and these are where I'm gonna have another row of 12 back here so I set these up where um, they will water these future rows that I'm gonna be getting to later this week and I have one they're all three feet in three rows in on this side and this side Another thing I didn't mention is I have them all um, I have them all zip tied to a to a T post and I really like that holds it up nice and straight and down here you see we're at the end of our line here and I have a flush valve here that you can see I can flush out the end of the line and I have one of these on the other 
uh, sprinkler over there. And these are cool because it allows me when the weather gets colder or there's a threat of frost, I can simply flush out these lines at the end and flush out the line over there where the line, the connection starts and make sure that there's no, nothing um, going on with freezing of the water in these water pipes. And that also allowed me to only dig about a foot of a, they're about a foot deep, the, the pipes in the ground that connect all of our water to these sprinklers. So this is very cool. So that basically is the sprinkler system I set up and it wasn't too difficult and have to admit, a little proud of myself. If you knew me a few years ago, I was somebody that shied away from doing things on my own like this. I would always seek uh, help from external you know, people, but I did a little bit of research, watched a few videos, and again, thank you Josh Satin, who was the one who I got the inspiration to do this from, from, from his YouTube video on setting up his irrigation system. And anybody could do this. It just takes a few PVC pieces. It was not very expensive. Um, and yeah, I, I would recommend this to anyone who, see I actually, I realized this the other day, I 10X'd my growing area. Last year, I had a 20 by 20 area with raised beds. That's 400 square feet. This year, I have 4,000 square feet that I'm growing and hand watering just isn't cutting it anymore. So this makes my life a lot simpler and I'm very happy it worked. A lot of times I do things and they end up not working out and I get very frustrated. This time it has worked and yes, if I could do it, you could do it. If you could dream it, you can do it. I don't know where I heard that, very corny, but it's true. So that's just gonna wrap up this video. Just wanted to share my little sprinkler setup. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And we will see you next time. Since we made our sprinkler dreams come true, I think we should end this video with a little Baywatch run through the sprinklers. So let's do that. Thank you.